Hello, it's Matthew from COP Technical Support. Uh, today I'm going to be adding a sub-door station to our already existing one-to-one -one intercom system. In the last video, we set up a simple one outdoor station, one indoor station intercom setup. But what happens if a customer has a pedestrian gate or a back door or side entrance they also want an intercom on? So that's what I'm going to show in this video. Same as last time, we're going to activate our device. And once activated, we're just going to set that to DHCP. So it sits in the correct range of the other devices and my computer. There we are, perfect. So we're gonna give this one a name. We'll go with a side entrance. So we know which way round we are. Spelling mistakes, typical. We're going to synchronize the time so that we don't have any time related issues with our setup. And we're going to click add. Here we are, we can see that's up here now and online with our other devices. First thing we're going to do is go into the settings of our side entrance, our new door station. And once that loads up, we're going to come down here on the left hand side to intercom. What we need to do here is change this door station number from a zero to a one. It's going to be our first sub door station. So it gets the idea of one. This will make the device reboot. This now allows us to add it to our already existing main outdoor station. We'll close that down. And let's go back into our main outdoor station the unit we set up earlier and was already existing. So, left hand side, device management. We can see there, there's our indoor station all online and connected. I'm going to click add, but this time, instead of indoor station, we want sub door station. We input the device password and the registration password, all which was set last time. You may have just heard my intercoms tamper, which tells me that that has rebooted. The device serial number of the side entrance device that we're adding, Alpha Hotel 0931072. It's IP address, 9216826. Getting all of this information from within IVMS just up here. The subnet mask, default, 255.255.255.0. And then the default gateway of site. So here, floor number and room number. Floor number doesn't so much come into play, but number does. So we'll floor number one, just by standard. And this is our first sub door station, as mentioned. So this has to match what we've set in our other intercom in the actual side entrance device. So we're going to match that with the number one and click OK. If we full screen this page and hit refresh, we'll see that it's offline, register failed, but it has pulled in our model and firmware version, so we know it's starting to communicate. Let's minimize this page and open up again our side entrance. Now, coming into our side entrance, we can see we no longer have that device management on the left-hand side, which means the device has rebooted as a sub door station. We're going to go into intercom and session settings. In here, it asks us for our main door station IP address along with the registration password. We'll put our registration password in first and then the IP address of our main door station. That's showing us offline. I'm just going to give that a refresh. Must have just been a hiccup up there. So let's grab our sub door station back up on screen again. So let's put in the IP address of our main door station, the existing device, and the registration password that we'd set previously. We'll give that a save. Now if we close this down, go back into our main outdoor station, hit refresh. We can see that's gone online. So now both of these call points can call our indoor station with no issue. And that's how we set up a sub door station. 
The setup for any additional outdoor stations is identical, just changing that device number. So where this one is number one, the next you would set to two, and then three, so on and so forth. Thank you for watching today.